Inhale with Steve Ross. Welcome to Inhale. I'm Steve Ross. It's yoga time. Stand up. Step the feet apart. Hang forward. Not for long, because I like this music. Roll the weight toward the balls of the feet. If you want to, you can interlock the hands behind your back and drop them over your head. If you don't want to, stay where you are or grab the heels and pull down a little bit. <laughs> That's nice. Bring the hands down to the floor. Roll all the way up. Step or jump the feet together. We're going right for it. You are. Hands together. <laughs> Inhale the arms up. Drop the head back. Exhale, come all the way forward. Hands down, head up. Jump back or step back. Stay up in the top of the push up. <laughs> All right, slowly come down. When you get close to the floor, inhale, arch up. And push back, exhaling, downward facing dog. Tuck the toes under, walk the feet in toward the hands a little bit. And raise the right leg up in the air. Push the left heel down toward the floor. Keep the arms straight, legs straight. You can roll the right hip open if you want to. You can extend the right heel or toes up, whatever you want. If you want even more weirdness, you can bend the right leg and kind of drop it back behind your back, but keep the arms straight. Swing the foot up to the hands, plant it down flat, arms up in the air, into the crescent pose, straighten the back leg as much as you can, stay on the ball of the back foot if possible. If you can bend the right leg a little more, that's great. Make sure the feet are fairly wide apart. Where's our friend? No. Small pocket clinic. <laughs> That's nice. Bring the hands down to the floor. Step the foot back. Come down. Arch up. And push back. Down dog. Raise the left leg up in the air this time. Push the right heel down. Who chose this music? Must be a genius. Swing the foot up. Crescent pose, other side. I can say that now, but who knows where it's going to go.
exhale, come forward. Lift the head, pull the chest away from the legs. Jump or step back. Come down as fast as you can. All right, jump up, dog. And push back, down, dog. Raise the right arm up in the air, turn to the side, all the way into the one arm incline. If this is just too much, bring the left knee down to support the weight. You can still do the basic posture. If it's not enough, grab the big toe of the right foot, and straighten the leg up like some of these four people are doing. <laughs> Push up, do the other side. What happened? Wasn't too synchronized. Any variation you like, as long as it is uncomfortable. <laughs> huh? No? Push back, down, down. Jump the feet up to the hands. Chair pose, arms up in the air. Bend the leg. <laughs> All right, hands down, straighten the legs. Lift the head, jump back or step back. Come down. And push up, up dog, stay here for a second. Push the chest forward, drop the head back. Next time you exhale, push back, down dog. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Big head. Oh, uh, yeah. Jump the feet up to the hands. Jump them right back. What's your problem? Come on down. Push up, up dog. And back. Down dog. The new point for fuck fellas, sell a drug. I'ma be a rap fanatic, exact, providing those individual smooth criminals. Open with love, we'll hover, we'll snuggle, we'll get that speed. Just stay here, sinking the chest down, heels down. And jump the feet up to the hands. Chair pose. Second of many. <laughs> Every the hands down, straighten the legs. Roll all the way up, stretch up, arch back a little bit. Come all the way forward. Just stay here. Roll the weight toward the balls of the feet. Relax your neck. Stay here. We'll be right back. Arch back a little bit. Exhale, come forward. Hands down, head up, jump back or step back. Go 
Calm down. Push up into the up dog. And back, down dog. Let's take advantage of the musical motivation. Jump the feet up to the hands, sit down. Turn to the side. Up we go. That's good. <laughs> if this is too difficult for you, you can always bend the knees and grab the legs, or you can just sit down and skip it. Not you guys, though. You have to do it. Cross the legs, bring the hands down, lift the butt off the floor, or move in that direction by pushing down hard. And then come down, come back up. That's enough of that. Uh -uh. Cross the arms. Lean back. Where are you going? <laughs> All right, now you can come up because you've been good. Turn around. Cross the legs if you can, bring the hands down in front of the knees, lean forward, jump back. If that's too hard, crawl back is okay. All right, chip. And push back, down dog. If you're watching this at home and this seems too intense, just do the best you can. Aspire to be able to do it, even if you can't do it. Do what you can do and don't worry about it. Except for you guys, you have to do everything. Right leg up in the air. Swing the foot up. All right, crescent pose. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Turn the back foot, the left foot flat down. Turn to the side into the warrior pose. Keep the right leg bent at a right angle. Left leg straight, look out. Over the right fingertips, kind of lift the chest a little bit. <laughs> Slide the left hand down the back leg, reach back with the right arm. Roll the right shoulder and ribs open, look up. Take a couple deep breaths, deep enough to move the ribs around a little bit permanently. <laughs> All right, bring the right hand down to the floor, flat down. Left arm straight up in the air or straight over your head. Rolling the left chest and ribs open. If the arm is straight over your head, really extend all the way through the fingertip. Palm down. What do you call this pose, you think? Oh. <laughs> Reach underneath the front leg with the right arm. Grab the left hand, if you can, behind you, or fingers, or wrist. Keep rolling that left shoulder open. If this is impossible for you, keep the right hand on the floor and just drop the left arm behind you. Or have a seat, change the channel. <laughs> Don't do that. That would be a mistake. Hands down to the floor. Step the foot back. Come down. And up. And back. Down, down. <laughs> Here it comes. Left leg up in the air. <laughs> Swing it up. Crescent pose. That was very cool. Turn the right. 
right foot flat down, turn to the side. Slide the right hand down the back leg. Hits keep coming. Stretch back. And bring the left hand to the floor. Right arm straight up or over. Push-up. I don't see any reason to come down yet. <laughs> if your upper body strength is lacking or failing you, you can always bring the knees down, not you. Slowly come down toward the floor. <laughs> Arch up into the upward-facing dog. This guy takes everything literally. <laughs> Push back, down, dog. Jump the feet up to the hands. Chair pose, arms up, legs bent. How many of these do you think we could do in one day? <laughs> we may find out. What are you doing, Patrick? <laughs> Come all the way forward. Just hang down, relax. We'll do more warm up when we return. Stay with us. And we are back. Roll all the way up, stretch up. Exhale, come forward. I knew the music couldn't last. <laughs> Hands are down, head is up. Jump back or step back. Just kidding, this is good. Come on down slowly. Too late. Arch up, up dog. Stay here in the up dog. If your low back is talking to you here, you can bring the legs down. Otherwise, stay here. Let it continue to tell its story. However sad it may be. <laughs> Next time you exhale, push back into the downward facing dog. Jump the feet up to the hands, sit down. Turn to the side. Let's go for this one. Hands are down, fingers are about <laughs> a foot behind your butt, more or less. Don't ask for details. Push up. Push the feet flat if you can. Hips are high, chest is high, head is back. If you can't get the feet flat, you can always just hang out on the heels. If that's still too much for you, bend the legs. That's much easier. Okay, come 
on down. Turn around. If you can jump it, jump it. If not, crawl back and make it look like you jumped it. And arch up. Push back, down dog. Right leg in the air. At the center of the fury. All the angels, all the devils, all around us, can't you see? Swing it up. Turn the back foot flat down. Interlock the hands if you can behind your back. Come down and do a deep lunge. Head down toward the floor. If this is too much, then bring the hands or forearms down to the inside of the foot. And keep the back foot as flat as possible, the outer edge included. And drop the arms over your head if you're doing the interlocked version. Keep bending the right leg. There's other strange variations. If you always look over here, you'll see some of them. Don't try that at home. Don't even try it here. All right, come on down with the hand. Step the foot back. That hurts. Come all the way down. <laughs> and up. Yeah. And push back. Now and up. Can't take my joy, devil. Left leg up in the air. And swing it up, other side. Turn the right foot down. Into the lunge again, hands behind you, come down. Nice and low. Again, if you want to try something more extreme and or ridiculous, you can try what these three are doing. You notice he's not doing it correctly. <laughs> Don't let that stop you, though. <laughs> All right, hands down. Step the foot back. Bring it down. And push up. Up dog. And I'm back now, dog. Jump the feet up to the hands. You guessed it. Tear pose. Arms up. It's more fun than salsa dancing. <laughs> Yoga makes you happy. If you don't think so, look at these people. <laughs> Hands to the floor, straighten the legs. Oh, yeah. Lift the head, jump back or step back. Come down. And up. What was he saying right there? I never oh, yeah. catch that one. Right leg up in the air. Swing the foot up into a crescent pose. Except if you can, bring the arms out very wide, drop the head back. If you can't do that, just do a regular crescent, that's fine. Arms can be straight up. together. Hook the left elbow over the front leg. Prayer style twist. Palms pushing together hard. Pointing the right elbow up. Kind of rolling the left shoulder under, right shoulder back. Open as much as you can. Straighten the left leg. Keep the right leg nice and bent. 
There's other variations of this, including left hand down to the floor, right arm up in the air. The idea is to rotate the spine, all the vertebrae. to the floor. Step the foot back. Come on down. Arch up. Push back. Down, dog. If you're starting to get tired, not you guys, but at home, take a rest. <laughs> Left leg up in the air. Swing it up, press and pose. Again, arms wide if you can. Bring the hands together, ideally above your head. And then hook the right elbow this time. So you're twisting the other way. Try to look up. Push up. And back. Down dog. Jump the feet up to the hands. Roll all the way up. Stretch up. <laughs> and exhale. Come all the way forward. Step the feet apart about hip distance and just hang there. You can roll the weight toward the balls of the feet if you want. We'll do the cool down when we come back, so stay with us. Don't go away. Stay tuned to Oxygen Media. Hello, we're back. So bring the left leg straight out in front of you. Bend the right leg. Either bring the sole of the right foot to the inside of the left thigh, or you can bring it up like in a half lotus. That's fun. And then just reach out and grab the foot or shin or anything you can. Come forward, drop the chin down toward the chest. You may see some of these people doing a different variation where the foot's up like that. They reach around and grab the big toe or foot and come down that way. It's just another way to work it. If we held it long enough, they'd all let go. <laughs> but we're not going to hold it that long, so it doesn't matter. There we go. 
right, come on up. Do the other side. <laughs> Again, you can either just bring the sole of the foot to the inner thigh, which is easier, or you can bring it up, it's okay. Reach out and grab a hold. Your son. <laughs> I used to feel so inspired. <laughs> and when I knew I had to face another day, oh, it made me feel so tired. Before the day I met you, I was so unkind. You're the key to my Come on up. Find yourself a partner. Partner music. Just work it out. What you're going to do is, if you're on the bottom, the soles of the feet are together, pull them in, and you come down. If you're on top, you gently push them down. If you want a massage, in return, you probably want to massage them now if you're on top. If you're at home and you don't have anybody to put on top of you, you can just do it by yourself like I'm doing, or you can put some sandbags on your knees or back if you happen to have some around. <laughs> we tried. It's such a cool thing when it works. <laughs> Drace under pressure. All right, come on up. It's enough of that. Doesn't mean much. Next victim. If you feel more comfortable on your own mat, what does that tell you? I don't know. Let's hit it, though. It's a lovely tune. I don't think she feels this. <laughs> no need to think. <laughs> You're liking this a little too much. Come on up. Tell your partner goodbye forever. There's no attachment. Go back to your mat, wherever it is, your slab, as I like to call it. Let's do the cow, happy or otherwise. Bring one knee, doesn't matter which one you start with, over the other one. Feet are out a little ways, and then you come down over it. Many people, because their hips are tight from sitting on furniture their entire lives, 
and never on the floor, the top knee will be up like this. Doesn't matter, you just keep leaning into it. Eventually it will start to open. And if it doesn't, at least psychologically you'll snap, which is much more important to be open there. There's other variations of this, like in almost every pose, you can do what she's doing. You can grab the hands behind you like that. One elbow straight up and then you come down. sensations arise in the hips or outer thigh. Enjoy it. At least be aware of it if you can't enjoy it without resistance. If you want to learn more about yoga and why you do things like this, you can log on Oxygen Online and click on Inhale. And then if you're having a celebratory kind of feeling in the moment, you can spin out of this posture once you sit up to the other side, or you can just cautiously unwind and do the other side. Whee! Oh, some of you are doing very advanced variations. <laughs> Almost looks like Jerry Lewis or something. All right, so once you're in the other side, <laughs> however you got there, come down. This music is actually a very little known Jimi Hendrix song. When he was in his mellow phase. As exciting as this obviously is for you, it's time to come up. Turn around and lie down on your back. Once you're down on your back, just kind of spread out. Pretend like you're relaxed. <laughs> Take a long, deep breath. And just let it go. We'll go deeper into this when we return, which will be very soon. But for now, just lie here and enjoy. You're watching Oxygen. And we are back for the big relax. Make sure you're spread out as far as you can on the floor. Cell phone is turned off. Fax machine is turned off. You're just relaxed. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, nothing to get. There's no succeeding or failing in this moment. You're past all that. You're just lying here like a slug, but a happy slug. You might want to take a couple long, deep breaths just to enhance the relaxation process. Mm -hmm. 
The yogis say that we are completely infinite, unlimited beings, and it's only our contracted beliefs that produce our experience. That if you want to know what you truly believe, you look at your life, and that's the blueprint. You can see what's really happening in your mind, that the outside is just a reflection of the inside. So if that's the case, if you can just relax and let go of any of this idea that you're separate from the all, that somehow you're not it or you're not making it, if you let go of all that, your experience will reflect your new belief, which is I am infinite, I am blissful, I am part of the whole and I'm everything, everywhere. If that's too lofty, at least, you can let go for the time being of that sense of smallness and just be free in this moment. Eventually, they say like a river flows into the sea, eventually your individuality merges with the source. And that's called freedom. And this freedom is independent of any circumstance, people or places or things. You don't look outside yourself for happiness. That you get all your happiness from within. closed, wiggle your fingers and toes a little bit, pretend you're limited again just for the fun of it, and roll slowly to one side or the other side, and come up into a sitting position. together and we say namaste.